Tom won nine times, Le Mans. Are you happy to be back here, Tom? Yeah, it's wonderful to be back in uh, in America in general, and particularly Laguna Seca. Tom Christensen has done it, breaking his own record, and the Le Mans 24 hours, the 76 running on it. The flags are up, everybody is loving this, but no more so than Audi. Peugeot have been beaten on a day when everyone thought it would be their party. Audi are the ones celebrating yet again. Right, let's have a look. We have uh, Jackie X with his lovely wife Katja signing a few autographs. And uh, in the meantime, we have two Audi R8 LMP1 cars parked right here. This one won Le Mans in 2005 with Champion Racing. Um, I had the privilege of being one of the drivers. So actually, every time the Audi R8 won at Le Mans, I was one of the drivers, and that's five victories. Um, lovely B turbo, V8, twin turbo, um, a lot of grunt, a little bit of turbo delay, fighting with the engine engineers about that. So in the, it's pretty in the during the night at Le Mans or low grip, it's particularly it's quite peaky. Also with the aerodynamic, pretty low on aero. Uh, I can see they have the full louver set now, uh, ready for Laguna Seca, Le Mans. We run it in a more sleek aero configuration. It has power steering and it has actually paddle shift on the steering wheel. That's the first car I drove personally with, the, with, with this concept. Having started at Le Mans with hedge pattern gearbox and sequential on, with the BMW later. But obviously these Audis are to very, very close to my heart. Audi R8 LMP1 cars and that actually Audi R8 put the name to the cars which you see all over the world as a sports car on the daily traffic. So um, we owe a lot to these cars, to the heritage. And then as we put on the camera, I saw the engineers and mechanics disappear. They don't want to take or steal anything of the limelight, but they do need to be brought into focus because without these guys, we would not be able to do anything competitively with these cars. So. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, obviously Kivi, Bratsky, and uh, Bitsky, they have done an amazing job, both with the setup, the design, with, uh, with the suspension, and certainly also running this engine in fantastic conditions. Maybe take a look at around it. It's a uh, beautiful lines, one of the most beautiful cars ever to have raced at Le Mans, and to my mind, obviously I'm biased. There was the uh, Elegant in the Bentley from 2003, I like to. So BMW mentioned in 99, the sound machine of the normal aspirated V12. But certainly later on when we did the R10, R15 and R18 with the closed coupe, the hybrid cars, they were aggressive uh, beasts too. But um, next race is on and uh, it was nice talking to you and it's nice to be here at the Laguna Seca racetrack. Now I'm going and heading for the Café Le Mans for a Café Ole.